Hi guys, look at you here. Today we'll be making one ingredient grapes. <gasps> uh, look at you. How is that possible? All you need is milk. It's the latest TikTok trend. And the mastermind behind this hack is Chef Alfredo Romero. Now the flavor. A little milky. A lot crepey. And a delicate texture that'll make you go, oh, that is so good. So stick around till the end and we can munch on it together. Now let's get creping. Yes, we have transported to heaven. So the most important ingredient for this one ingredient milk crepe is whole milk, AKA 3.25%. And along with milk, you'll need a nonstick pan. You know, the kind that you can fry an egg with and then you can like do that little commercial thing where you like do that and then just slips and slides around. That kind of pan. This pan is around nine and a half inches, so I'll pour in enough milk to cover the pan. I used around one cup. Turn your heat to high and no need to stir. Just let it micro buble and boil until it forms a really large bubble that resembles that one parachute game we've all played in kindergarten. And do we all know the purpose for that game? No, no we don't, but it was fun. And obviously, depending on the size of the pan, the amount of milk you'll use is different. You know, you just gotta use your built-in milk crepe detector. After your milk has formed large bubbles, turn the heat to low and let it slowly cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Ring, 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 ah! Now that the liquid has completely evaporated, gently peel it off and flip. It should be nice and golden brown and you wanna cook the other side for 10 seconds or so. And for comparison's sake, I'll also be making your classic crepe. Cause you know, we can't just make a shortcut version of a crepe without making the real deal. And if you're a curious soul, which by the way, apparently more curious people are more intelligent. So you're intelligent. Wondering how the liquid milk magically forms an edible handheld crepe. Because you know, water or orange juice they can't do that, but how come milk can do that? It's the same phenomena as if you've warmed up milk at 1 a.m. in the microwave, and you'll find a thin layer of milk skin floating on top. That layer is actually the dried version of the proteins found in the milk you drink. Casein and beta-lactoglobulin are altered and then solidify with the fat in the milk to form a sticky film, which then dries by evaporation. So we're basically eating a giant version of that layer on top of the milk you've warmed up in your mug. Now let's compare the floppiness of the two crepes. The left is a classic crepe, while the right is the milk crepe. And with every great crepe, the greatest pairing is with an ooey gooey chocolate hazelnut spread. Slather it on like pizza sauce. And if you're like me, you like your pizza extra saucy, which means your crepe should be the same. Speaking of which, does anyone remember those Nutella commercials that would boast about how their spread is perfect for a healthy, well-balanced breakfast because the milk provides calcium for strong bones and also providing lots of nutrients from the hazelnuts. I think they forgot to mention that their product is basically a spreadable chocolate bar. Top it off with some powdered sugar, cause you know, it's not sweet enough. And some freshly sliced strawberries on the side, just to make yourself feel a little healthier. Two gorgeous plates of crepes ready to be devoured. So let's dig in. So this is the finished product and I'm super excited. Let's try the classic crepe first, you know, just to have a little reference. Okay. Ooh. All right, cheers. First bites for you. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Delicious. 
Tastes like a regular crepe. Not bad. Nice and chewy. Just the way a crepe should be. Sort of tastes like mochi. Has a similar texture. All right, next up, the star of the show, our milk crepe. Cheers, first bites for you. Mm, nom nom nom. You wouldn't expect it, but it does have a caramelly flavor. This actually tastes similar to a croissant. <laughs> Much more flakier, more delicate, a little more crispier. This is definitely more rich than a typical crepe. Typical crepe, I can eat like 10 of these and I'll be good. But with the milk crepe, like a few bites and you're pretty satisfied. It's a pretty dense and rich crepe. It has the consistency of thinly sliced almonds. You know how almonds stick to the crevices between your teeth? Yeah, this is pretty similar to like an almond croissant. <laughs> Definitely worth trying at least once. I could probably see someone who's on like a diet or low carb to make one of these milk crepes if they really crave a crepe-like dessert, okay? And the crepe itself has a hint of sweetness because of the sugar in the milk and it got caramelized, and it became this. All right, so this gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys next time. And along with milk, you need whole milk, AKA 3.1, no. <laughs> I was gonna say the 3.1415 pi number. I meant 3.1, oh my God, floppy flop. Okay, good thing. <gasps> no, it's dripping.